Right, so this is the inspiration. So um, I looked at the artist that we were talking about in class. Um, there's been a still image of her. Um, and I wanted to make something that was kind of like me and kind of like the artist's work. So I've got this kind of, I've got this narrowness towards the bottom, um, but I've also gone over a drawing of me to try and simplify some of the shapes that are like the artist's work. So I've got two different kinds of glasses. So I've got some very round ones and I've got my rectangular pieces. So I've included both of those. Um, I've got quite poochy cheeks as I've got older. I've simplified and stylized my face and I wanted it to be like the artist's work but also to start to have some of me because I didn't want to be the person who just copied an artist's work. So a lot of my work has circles and squares in and that's the kind of design shapes that I've used in my idea. Now I've got to think about how to make this design into this shape and turn this shape into something made out of cardboard. So I'm going to put my image over here um, and I need to have available for me to use some tape, some glue, um, some scissors. Uh, I've got several bits of tape, a few pens um, in case I run out. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about pencil because I'm going to record, I'm going to kind of cover over it with moderate or paper mache. So if I put this piece over here to the side, um, do it like that so you can see my image and, and what I've done is I folded my piece of paper in half um, and I drew half a face and half a body. Um, I've put a bit of a curve on the bottom because I want my sculpture to stand up and I know that if I make it straight when it curves it, it won't stand up. Um, but when I opened it out it was just too wide, much too wide and I didn't want to make something that dumpy so I've kind of overlapped and cut it here which makes it a little bit narrower, um, still large but it's going to curve slightly so it should work okay. I've then traced this piece onto three different pieces of quite a stiff paper and next I'm going to transfer them onto cardboard. So I've got some thick bits of cardboard here and I've got some cereal packets next door and I'm going to use those. So that'll be the next bit of the video.